time I reviewed the Anchor Soundcore 2, which turned out to be a good value speaker. Now I will test another Anchor product, the Anchor Classic, to find out if it's also a good budget speaker. At the date of this review it can be bought around $30, so it is one of the cheapest Bluetooth speakers. However, does this budget pricing require too many sacrifices? Let's find this out. The speaker came in this simple box with a micro USB cable, an audio cable and a nice carrying pouch included. So this is the speaker, it is the black version, however it is available in other color options as well. The speaker comes in three color options, blue, black and white. The speaker got a minimalist cube-like design which fits well to its name Classic. The overall build quality is good and it feels solid. The Classic is heavier what you would expect, you have the feeling that there must be lots of materials inside. The design of the speaker is not super interesting or stylish, but it looks good especially on an office desk. My black test model got a nice to touch matte finish plastic body and the metal speaker grill on the top. On the front you can find the indicator LED, the play and the volume control buttons. With the play button you can play, pause a song, but otherwise it does not have any music control capabilities, so you cannot skip a song or jump back to the previous one. On the left side there are the micro USB charging port and the audio jack input port, so the speaker can be connected via cable. The Anchor Classic did not get any water protection, so it's not an ideal outdoor speaker, particularly because it was mainly built from hard materials, which can get damaged easily. On the bottom there is an anti-slip pad to keep the speaker in place on any surface. Unfortunately there is no spot on the speaker to latch a carabiner onto it, so you cannot fix it to a bag or a bag. The speaker is surprisingly heavy compared to its size and this is because of its huge 2100 mAh battery which is 3 times bigger than the usual 6 or 700 mAh batteries. In my test when I played various types of songs on the speaker at full volume I measured 10 hours 30 minutes playtime, while repeating the same test at 70% volume I got 43 hours playtime which is a very impressive number. I haven't seen any Bluetooth speaker in this category yet which had such a long battery life. It takes around 5 hours to fully charge the device and unfortunately there is no battery indicator on it, so you do not know how much percentage do you have left. The speaker can maintain only one active connection, so for example it's not possible to connect your phone and your computer to it at the same time. According to Anchor the Bluetooth range is 33 feet, what I can confirm I got around 35 feet in my outdoor test which is an average in this category. The classic features an audio input port on the left side that lets you plug in anything that doesn't have Bluetooth. It has a built in microphone so can be used as a speakerphone to answer phone calls. Under the hood it has a 2 inch forward driver and a bass port. Regarding the audio quality, the sound of the speaker is mostly clear, there are some distortions at higher volume levels, especially the bass tends to distort. Basically the classic is a small speaker sitting on a large battery and this is noticeable in the sound quality as well. It has a similar sound profile as the half size GBL Go, which means the sound is quite flat, the bass is weak and the deeper lows are missing. You can check my sound comparison video with the Soundcore 2 here. For only 10 more bucks you can buy the Anchor Soundcore 2, which is a splash proof, more durable speaker and provides much better overall sound. So if you are not after the longest battery life then the Soundcore 2 is definitely a better choice. You can find the GBL Go in the same price category, it has a similar sound and a much smaller more portable device, however it has a much shorter battery life. If you are looking for a similarly sized speaker with some protection, you can check the Sony SRS XB10. It is a solid, durable device with IPX5 water protection, with a built in NFC chip and a much better bass production. However, it costs around $60. Overall for $30 you get a nice well built speaker, however I suggest it only for home usage since the classic did not get any water protection and was mainly built from hard materials, so it's not an ideal outdoor speaker. The biggest strength of the classic is its outstanding battery life. 
if you use it one or two hours a day, it's enough to charge only once or twice a month, which is absolutely awesome. The sound of the speaker is not bad, but quite basic. The lows can be missing when you listen to music. Only for 10 more bucks, you can get the Anchor Soundcore 2, which has a much richer, better sound. I suggest the Anchor Classic if you need the basic speaker to your kitchen counter to listen YouTube live streams or podcasts and you do not want to worry that your speaker runs out of juice during your favorite show. So this was for today, if you liked the video please press the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can find the product link in the description below. Take care and see you soon.